I think the treaty itself uh, is, um, uh, it has legal status because it's a treaty. So it's contained in the treaty series, so it's, uh, uh, it's not a nothing at international law. The question I think you're really asking is, what is it in domestic law? And I think the answer to that is, it's not yet determined. In terms of its present legal status, it's half in and half out of the legal system. Part of it is recognised by about 30 statutes. Uh, but the law at present in New Zealand is that unless it is incorporated in a statute, it is not part of our law. The first Chief Justice of New Zealand, William Martin, uh, thought that it did have effect in domestic law. And there were, quite, there were a number of decisions of the courts which did treat it, it as having effect in domestic law, but then we rather lost track of that for many years. We should review the Bill of Rights and we should include, consider con whether or not we should include social and economic rights and we should uh, put all of that together with our Constitution Act, which is currently just ordinary law, and we should try and pass it as supreme law, but of course if you're going to do that you need to think about what you're going to do with the Treaty of Waitangi. You cannot renounce your own historical heritage, and so that is why the treaty is central to New Zealand's constitutional arrangements, whether it's recognised in the courts or whether it isn't. 